In Beck segment tonight, recently our pal Kirsten Powers appeared on the Fox News Watch program and said this. If conservatives are so concerned about black-on-black -black crime, it's a little concerning. The only time I hear them talking about it is when they want to stick it to the black community. And that's what that seems like right now. That's the favorite topic. Topic uh -oh. A among conservatives is no, to no, talk no, about black-on-black no, no, black crime. All right, Ms. Powers joins us now from Washington. So are you including me in that soundbite? Are you conservative, Bill? I'm not, I don't believe I am. I think I I'm traditional. I don't think you are. I All think right. you're just looking out for the folks. So All that right. wouldn't so you're include not, you. So I'll take that compliment as you're not <laughs> including me into that little soup bowl. Is that correct? I'm actually, I'm not. No. I, okay. I think that, you know, I, I think what I'm talking about are the pundits that I spend every single day with, the columnists that I read, who suddenly have become obsessed with black on black crime in a way that I really there never there saw so we know we know before. you're objecting well, I mean to? we were on the I mean I was on that show with every single person on that show was bringing it up I mean Cal Thomas was bringing it up Jim Pinkerton was bringing it up I feel like there've been you know regular com columns Rich Lowry wrote a column I mean I, I don't think don't it's Don't you think even, those people genuinely even, uh, would like to see that situation of improve Of course but that's a different that's a different thing than what I'm talking about what I'm talking about is when it turns into You said wait 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 powers Okay you said the reason those men and I like them all and respect them I think they're honest as men and I. I think you do too as do I want to stick it stick it to the black community you well, really believe that what well, I, I think the way that it has been brought up over and over during the time the Trayvon Martin case and suddenly become what I, it seems like an obsession to me considering this has been a problem for as long as I can remember I mean it's it, it was no different uh, under the Bush administration in terms of black on black crime and now suddenly it is topic a it is what everybody's talking well, about the reason and it just it seems is. strange to me that all of a sudden when you know you have the Trayvon Martin case that nobody wants to talk about that they just want to talk about black on black well, I, th crime. I think everybody talked about the Trayvon Martin case till we were going to faint. But there's a context to it. And the context arose when the verdict came in and then certain people in the grievance industry primarily, but there were other sincere people as well, and I'm not going to discount that, were disappointed in the verdict, all right? And then they started to level charges that America is a racist country. And you've heard them. We've, we've used them here. That we're a bad society. That that we're trying to hurt, hunt down. White men are trying to hunt down black people. And, and that's where it arose, that the, the problem in the violence in this country isn't generated by whites. It's generated primarily by blacks. So it's in context. Surely you know that. Well, the majority of people are actually killed by someone of their own race, and I'm sure that you know that. So you have the majority of white people being killed by white people, 83%, and it's, it's slightly but that's higher a among blacks. Stat. The, you know, look, it's not look, the key stat. And again, so everybody knows what Kirsten and I are talking about, is that black men commit homicide, young men, at a rate ten times that of their peers in the white and Latino communities. That, so the issue that, is, that is right, but that is the, crazy. Well, that, but that is crazy in terms of an issue of that they are victims of black crime. But I think turning it into, you know, that because Trayvon Martin wasn't killed by a black person, that that somehow we, we shouldn't just no, talk about see, that. I think we you're should misreading switch the, topic, the whole story. You know? This is all about protecting Americans, no matter what color they are. That's what this story of this Trayvon Martin is all about, protecting Americans. There's no way Trayvon Martin should have been killed. He didn't do anything to deserve death. He didn't deserve to be, to do anything, all right? He's walking down to his father's house. Every mm -hmm. fair-minded person knows that, all right? He didn't deserve to die. So we need to protect Trayvon Martin. That's what everybody should be working for. But then the hustlers come in and start to demonize America, lying about it, saying that white people want to hurt black people. That is false. And that's why the discussion about the intensity of black crime arose. Surely you understand that. Perhaps that's why it arose for you, Bill. Uh, I really do feel that, that, that there was a, when people wanted to talk about the Trayvon Martin case and the fact that race was a factor, there are people, and I put myself in that category, that do think race was a factor, that pe the response is always, oh, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about black on black crime. And black people just don't want to talk about talk black about on black crime. You can't talk about race being a you factor know, unless you're a mind reader. The FBI went down and invested. Yes, it is. And here's no, the backup. Not. 
the FBI went down and investigated this from a racial point of view with an eye on filing federal charges, civil rights charges. They found nothing. So that means that Kirsten Powers and Bill O'Reilly cannot apply a motive to George Zimmerman because we don't know, and the FBI I, already investigated That's different than what I said, it. though. That's different than what I said. I didn't say that it, I could get into his head and know that he went That's after him. That's a racial him motive. That you would have no, to get in I didn't his say head. racial motive. I said race was a factor, and race was a factor, and we know race was a factor because every single person who has defended Zimmerman has said he was so upset because there had been all these young black men burglarizing in the neighborhood I mean, and when he saw Trayvon Martin that sort of I set think him he off. was and a, so I don't know he, Zimmerman that's race I never Man. heard Zimmerman say that I don't know that all I know is the FBI was sent down by an attorney general who desperately wants to file federal charges against Zimmerman. The man desperately wants to do it. And he ordered the FBI to go down and find out if Zimmerman had a racial animus. And they came back and they said no. So that you and me and everybody else cannot apply a racial animus to the man with any sense of, fa I did, of fairness. But I didn't say racial animus. I said it was a factor. There's a very different thing to uh -huh. say that because you see a young black man and you are concerned about that because he's a young black man, it doesn't mean you have animus. All right. All right, Powers. Look, uh, you're a stand-up person. I have to say that. I mean, Thank you come you. on every week, and, and but I think you're desperately wrong about this. And again, if you want to know what I've said about race in America consistently over the years, pick up Keep It 